US-made Javelin missiles are vital to the fight against a tank. Can a Javelin destroy a Russian tank? What's the best anti-tank missile? How much does a Javelin anti-tank missile cost and how effective are they? Stay tuned as we'll be answering all of these questions in today's video. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, kindly note that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Without further ado, let's dive in. The Javelin is an anti-tank missile that locks on the infrared image of a target. The soldier picks several targets and attacks kinds by peering through a command launch unit. When the missile is fired, the launch motor propels it out from the tube before the primary motor kicks in and launches the rocket into the air. The smoother launch decreases debris and smoke, making it more difficult for the enemy to detect where the missile is fired. It employs a fire and forget mechanism, which allows the soldier to take cover or load a new missile while the previous one tracks to its target. If there is no protection above the target, javelins can fire directly at it, and they can be employed against low-flying helicopters. The device may shoot at any time of day or night, and has a range of up to 212 miles, or 341 kilometers. While the javelin can attack any vehicle that releases heat, it is particularly effective against tanks because of its ability to strike from above. That's why it's named a javelin, after the spear used in track and field sports, which falls at a steep angle to the ground. Even the most well-equipped military has limited options when it comes to dealing with javelins. Reactive armor is used on modern tanks, and is often filled with small amounts of explosives that will detonate an incoming warhead. The javelin is made to pierce through that armor. It employs a tandem warhead that either cuts a channel through the reactive armor or blows it up, allowing the primary warhead to slice through and explode. Reactive armor is meant to combat fire with fire, attempting to push an attacking shell, grenade, or other missile away from the hull of the tank before it can penetrate by exploding on contact. With a twin explosive warhead, the Raytheon Lockheed Martin Javelin anti-tank missile leapfrogs this defense. The concept is comparable to slat armor, which has been deployed by the US and other forces to wrap vehicles in steel cages in order to destroy rocket-propelled grenades prematurely. Javelin is intended to serve the United States until 2050. In May 2020, the JV completed the first manufacturing run of the Javelin F model missile, which has a multi-purpose warhead. The development of Javelin as a successor for the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile was granted a contract by the US Army in 1989. Raytheon Missile System and Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control founded the Javelin joint venture. The Javelin reached full-rate production in 1994, and the US Army deployed the system for the first time in June 1996 at Fort Benning, Georgia. During Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, the US Army and Marine Corps, as well as Australian Special Forces, used the Javelin system, which is currently deployed in Afghanistan. Surveillance operations also take advantage of the CLU. During a demonstration in February of 2013, the missile reached a range of 4,750 meters. In June of 2013, five Javelins were successfully fired as part of Udbrea's joint exercise between the Indian and US militaries. In May 2014, the Cranfield Ordnance Test and Evaluation Center successfully test-fired a Javelin missile from a turret. In July of 2014, the Javelin JV tested the launch of a missile from a remote weapon station on a wheeled vehicle. And in September of 2019, the Javelin missile was launched from a Titan autonomous ground vehicle utilizing Kongsberg's remote launcher. The COU is a passive target acquisition and fire control unit with integrated day sight and thermal imaging capabilities that weighs 6.4 kilograms. The site is based on the conventional advanced DWAR assembly and employs DRS technology, second-generation thermal and imaging technology. The company also equips the site with quieter dual-posed pistol coolers. The COU houses the gunner controls for the missile system. The day site has times 4 magnification optics, while the night site has times 4 and times 9 magnification optics. The Javelin launch missile and the ATK launch tube assembly make up the round. The missile has a range of 2,500 meters. The Javelin is an autonomous self-guidance and lock-on before launch. The missile is equipped with an infrared imaging seeker based on a 64x64 64 64 gazing focal plane array and an 8 micron to 12 micron weight band made of cadmium mercury teleron. The infrared seekers for the British Army missile are supplied by BAE Systems Avionics. A precursor warhead is used to activate explosive reactive armor, and a primary warhead is used to penetrate basic armor. The propulsion system is a two-stage solid propellant design that allows for soft launch with minimal smoke. The Block 1 missile upgrade compromises a faster rocket motor, a more powerful warhead that can hit rider range targets, a 2500 meter increase in hit-kill probability, and changes to the command launch unit and software. 
The upgraded Block 1 missile obtained its final material release in 2008, and the US Army began stockpiling the first production quantities. A digital display, software processing enhancement, and remote view of the gunner display in a RS-170 standard video format are among the other enhancements. The Javelin missile has an anti-personnel fragmentation and multi-purpose warhead, with shaped charges targeting armored vehicles. The system can be deployed and ready to fire in under 30 seconds, with a reload time of fewer than 20 seconds. The missile is mounted on the CLU, and the gunner engages the target by placing a cursor box over the image of the target using the CLU sight. By delivering a lock-on before launch order to the missile, the gunner latches on the missile's automated target tracker. The missile is ready to fire once the system is locked on, and the gunner does not perform any post-launch tracking or missile guiding. Unlike laser beam riding missiles or conventional wire fiber optic cable guided missiles, Javelin is led to target autonomously after launch, allowing the gunner to reposition or reload instantaneously. The missile is ejected from the launch tube for a low recoil shoulder launch with a soft launch. Soft launch allows for firing from inside buildings or from hitting locations. The greater propellant in the second stage is ignited once the missile is clear and the missile is driven towards the target. There are two attack types on the weapon, direct and top attack. To engage covered targets, bunkers, buildings, and helicopters, the shooter picks direct attack mode. When using the top assault mode against tanks, the javelin climbs above and hits down on the target, penetrating the tank's roof, which has the least armor protection. In top assault mode, the missile is launched at an 18 degree elevation angle reaching a max altitude of 150 meters and 50 meters in direct fire mode, orders and deliveries of Javelin anti-tank missiles. To date, more than 50,000 missiles have been deployed, along with 12,000 command launch units. Taiwan, Lithuania, Jordan, Australia, New Zealand, Norway, and Ireland have chosen the Javelin. The Czech Republic and the US government signed a letter of agreement in June 2004 to provide the Javelin system. According to Kotlinski, the weapon system are both expensive and hard to manufacture, with production costs ranging from $80,000 to $200,000 per missile. According to the Army's estimations, US weapons makers have the potential to create a maximum of 6,500 Javelin missiles per year while the current contract limits production at 2,100. The UK Ministry of Defense awarded the Javelin JV a $176 million contract in December of 2009 for more than 1,300 Javelin missile rounds and accompanying injuring assistance. The missiles were first delivered in 2010. The US Army awarded the JV a $309 million contract in August of 2010 to develop Javelin missile firing systems for infantry troops. In December 2010, the first Javelin missile was launched from a Striker IFV Common Remotes Operation Weapon Station 2. In November 2010, Saudi Arabia sought the supply of 150 Javelin guided missiles and 20 Javelin COUs. According to the Defense Security Cooperation Agency, Qatar also ordered 500 Javelin guided missiles from the FMS in March of 2013. Do let us know in the comments section below if you enjoyed this video. Please check out our other videos.